There are four main kinds of strawberry. There's the alpine strawberry, which grows quite well in the shade, and some chefs go balmy about. Honestly, I've no interest in it at all. You can see from the size of the flowers, it has tiny fruits and lots of pips. It feels as if you're chewing sawdust. Fortunately now, this year we have a variety called Just Add Cream, which has uh, bigger berries, and that lovely fragrance and very sweet taste. Uh, it's perpetual. You can see there are pink flowers now as well as ripe fruit and it will keep on fruiting right through until the frost. And then we have the traditional summer fruiting strawberries and they come in two types really. Uh, the kind that you buy in the shops, things like El Santa, tends to have one really heavy crop in June and early July and that's it for the year. And one or two of the latest varieties like Vitesse do that really heavy crop and if the weather is uh, reasonable, a fair bit of moisture as we've had this summer, then of course they will start to flower and fruit again. And if you've got really healthy plants, they're propagated by runners. You can see this one two-year-old plant has produced all these runners nicely potted up and once they're rooted they can be cut off from the mother plant as has happened here and you'll have a nice pot full of root ready to plant. If your rooted runners start to produce runners well then they need to be cut off straight away. But with a variety like Vitesse at this time of the year you can be picking a second crop really lovely big strawberries. It's worth chasing about and getting the best that's currently available if you've got just a small amount of space and they grow well even in hanging baskets.